Again tonight, sadly, we find ourselves reporting that there has been another gun scare at a local school. This time, police say the gun was brought to a middle school by a student. It was an unloaded gun, but prompted a huge response at Ranson Middle School. Our education reporter Elsa Gillis is live at the school tonight. Another terrifying experience for those kids and their parents and staff, Elsa. Absolutely, Scott, Erica. It's pretty quiet now, but at one point today, there was a long line of worried parents waiting here outside the school to pick up their children. And though there was some confusion as to what was actually going on, they weren't taking any chances. It started with a lockdown. This announcement came on talking about some lockdown, lockdown. This Ranson Ivy Middle student described to me the frightening moments she experienced inside school today. Everyone just started running to the ground and stuff. It was pretty scary, actually. Like, I got scared, so I just started to pray. I spoke with her. It was really crazy. Um, like everyone was just like worried and just like trying to talk to their parents. And some of those parents, as they were leaving the school with their children after the lockdown was lifted, saying that it was a gun on school campus. Me being the protective mom that I am. My kids come first. According to a message sent to families from the principal, an unloaded gun was found by police in a trash can on campus. It was brought to Ransom by a student on a bus, then thrown away in the trash outside a school building. The school went into lockdown for a period of time out of an abundance of caution. This just days after police say a 14 year old carried a loaded 25 caliber gun into South Mech High School. And as soon as these parents heard the word gun today, they rushed to the school. I feel much better, uh, although there wasn't nothing that happened. Um, so far, we haven't heard of any incidents. So um, just picking them up, be on the safe side. I wanted to. I really for her to be in my eyesight then to wonder what's going on. Now, we don't know why this student brought a gun to school. CMS says this is still under investigation. Now, I have learned that a student reported, quote, uh, quote suspicious writing on a bathroom wall here at Ranson regarding a threat earlier this week. CMS communications told me they were checking, but they have no information that these two incidents are related. Erica. And Elsa, I know all this comes after we've been covering CMS's launch of security screenings using metal detectors and wands at high schools. I know you've also asked the district about if they have plans to expand this to middle schools now. What did they say? Yeah, officials say they are strictly focusing those screenings at high schools, but they did say they could envision some type of security screening, though details are unclear at middle schools in the future. Erica. Elsa Gillis reporting. Thank you. All of these screenings actually started after a deadly shooting happened at Butler High School. Today, for the first time, the school was randomly selected for the added screening. Now, this morning, CMS conducted four random classroom safety screenings at Butler. Uh, no deadly weapons were found. One canister of non-lethal pepper spray was turned over to a school staff member by a student. It was back in October that the community was rocked after a shooting at the campus. Police say that Jatuan Cuffey shot and killed Bobby McKeithen in the hallway after the two of them got into a fight.